Good morning, December the 31st, New Year's Eve. Get active in your own rescue. Stop wandering about. You aren't likely to read your own notebooks, ancient histories and anthologies you've collected to enjoy in your old age. Get busy with life's purpose. Toss away, toss aside empty hopes. Get active in your own rescue. If you care for your if you care for yourself at all, and do it while you can. Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. Today's a call to action from Marcus. This is um, encouraging us to put our books to one side, our notebooks, our worries, our false hopes, our concerns, our egos, everything that is trivial and get to work, move forwards with our lives, practice what you've learned because yeah this is a reality check for me that you know reading all these books, learning, which I've been doing for the last two years Yes, it's filling myself with knowledge, but it's pretty worthless without the experience. So it's learning out with it, including experience, that's going to give you a good life. Just reading books one after the other. Yeah, it might feel good at the time, and oh yeah, I'm, I'm learning something here. I'm, I'm feeling better without the actual action, the good actions that we talk about, the purposes, it's just going to be like dust because we don't know when this is going to end, it might be tomorrow and it's uh, yes just it's um, just a focus, it's a focus um, caught today, um, it's a reminder, because yes we can get immersed and just, oh yeah, it's, I've been told to read and read and read and um, being, just being that, you know, the learner rather than doer, and yeah, Ryan Holiday in his book talks about how the difference between a scholar and a soldier. Um, it's like we all want to be scholars, not soldiers. Well, we want to be both. We want to be a scholar and a soldier. Um, and yeah, it's just knowing. Once you finish one book, doesn't mean to say that another book's gonna be the solution for you. But they're not going to, it's going to mean nothing when it comes to judgment day. The only thing that's going to be of value to you is your, your state of mind. Because, you know, you can't carry, you know, when you're in situations, when you're in stressful, when you're in an adversity, it's not like you can keep oh keep carry your backpack around and keep looking at your notebook and think oh what what do I say here? And yeah that's what we I know there's a lot of gurus who give done for you scripts for you know for marketing and running businesses and yeah you you can become reliant on that and I've done that and 
Yeah, we live in a, a modern world of social security, um, which can promote, and it has done for me, laziness. And it makes me think like, if people, myself included, did, didn't have a social security, what would they do? What would they have to do? Would they do everything they could to create what they needed to do to survive? Maybe a few may crumble and buy, but um, I'm pretty certain that most would yeah, do, do anything that they could find to survive. And yeah, it's, it's being aware of that. It's not judging it, but it's just planting these seeds in your head that to be distant from these things, you know, these things that people are giving us and what we're learning um, and what the, 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 the external things we've got, relationships, jobs, money, business, status, achievements, are all coming into us. It's not relying, it's being really aware not to rely on these things, that they are your survival. Because death is coming, maybe tomorrow, maybe in 50 years, 40, 20 years. And the only thing that is going to be your salvation in that journey is your state of mind and looking back looking back from your deathbed at your life and leaving no and being able to say to yourself I left no stone unturned and yeah that's for today, um, it's the end of the, the book, December the 31st, the end of the month of mortality. Um, tomorrow is January 1st, and a new chapter starts. Um, we haven't checked what we're talking, we're discussing, but yeah, we will continue. We will continue with these reflections as I feel it's. It's helping me and helping me focus and um, grounding me to earth and yeah, spring, it's a spring into action part of a day today and it's making me think like okay maybe I am am I t taking too much in and am I am I not taking enough actions it's, it's allowing me to question should, you know can I be taking more action somewhere it's not like, but at the same place, it's not like thinking you have to. It's not like forcing or pushing or praying. It's like taking them good actions that you're aligned to, aligned to in your own reason, choice, and doing it for the right reason. So it's not like taking actions just for the sake of, just because Marcus really says, you know, you need to take action. It's a, it's a quality of the action. If you're taking actions that are not, you know, um, you're not compassionate about, in search of something, just to keep busy. Um, I know Marcus says, keep busy. But for me, it's not about just keeping busy. It's a quality. It's what are you doing to keep busy? You know, what where is that leading to? What is he? What is he? What is the purpose of it? It's like questioning your actions, every action you take a day. It's like questioning, okay, what am I, what I'm doing here? Is it in line with my values? Is it in line with my ruling reason? This morning I've meditated 45 minutes, had a cold, sh warm, followed by a cold shower, had some breakfast, and now I've reflected on the book now I'm 
to creating a video, talking to you, um, expressing, expressing my what I'm learning, which is helping sort of help it sink it in, and experiencing it. Um, I'm sharing it with people, if, and who knows, people may may enjoy watching these videos. If it's helping one person, then it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's keeping it consistent. It's, it's just doing. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. The matter isn't not important. It's it's doing it, doing something for me on a consistent basis day after day after day after day which you know if you do if you know for certain you do on a daily basis it's going to get you to some point where you want to be and it's just doing it doing it doing it the law of repetition will take you there so I know for certain you know learning expressing meditating journeyman fitness faith love kindness gratitude being grateful you know building my gratitude being happy with where i am now not to where i want to be that's not happened yet to being happy to being grateful that i can talk to you through this tube and what that toss aside any worries aside any false hopes empty hopes any concerns of anyone any fears I have because yeah it's to talk to an actual device you know two years ago you know I need to, I'll, I'll look back because I was scared I was um, I didn't know what to say you know I was I was looking for scripts and I was watching other videos and I was literally copying what other people were saying on their videos because I didn't, I had no self esteem, I had low self esteem, I didn't think I was good enough just to sit there and talk. But now it's two, almost two years since I did my sort of first self video, getting a bit more comfortable with it and yeah, it's in these times of, you know, um, in this world uh, I'm sure it's going to be a valuable asset and it's allowed me to connect with people and so that's my journey um, but yeah sending you love and kindness for the new year grateful for you for watching this grateful for your attention and yeah, and I'll, I'll look, load this now and yeah, see what happens today, see what the day will bring.